We're back, everyone, talking about the amazing wonders of Noni. Now, Richard, you have some new research to share with everyone. Yes. Uh, when we started with Noni, there were about 15 or so research articles at the NIH. Now there's well over 200. It's most impressive. Let's start with Noni and diabetes. One of the putative uses, reputation, cultural uses of Noni is to help with diabetes. Well, they found that Noni with insulin, if, you need, if you're need, if you insulin-dependent diabetic, if you take Noni with the insulin, it lowers the blood glucose better than either one alone. It creates a synergy. It helps dampen insulin resistance. It makes insulin more efficient. It, it's helpful with diabetes, okay? It also helps to protect laboratory animals, of course, from the fatty infiltration of the liver that occurs with di diabetes. This is a big thing, folks. This is tremendous. Noni and ischemic brain damage. Mice pretreated with Noni had smaller areas of brain damage after an induced stroke, okay? Now, you may say, I've never had a stroke. It's not in my family history. I'm not really worried about stroke. Well, everyone, as we age, get tiny little strokes. They're so small, you can't really see them with the naked eye, but they add up, and they, it ends with cortical atrophy, what doctors call the brain shrinks, and it shrinks because of these tiny little strokes. So even if you've never had a stroke, even if you're never at risk for it, you'll have less damage from the inevitable effects of aging from little tiny microemboli that end up in the brain, okay? Noni and gout. Noni lowers the production of uric acid in test tube studies. They're working on this in humans to see if it does, and I'm sure it will be, but we have to prove that, no doubt. Pain. Noni uh, relieves pain equal to Ultram. That's part of the new ones. And it relieves inflammation equal to hydrocortisone. That's a steroid. Calms inflammation as good as a steroid. I know many of you are on the prednisone and whatnot for autoimmune disease, asthma, this type of thing, and you're looking for ways to get off of it. Taper off slowly. That's critical with steroids. But start day one with the noni so you have that anti-inflammatory effect. Noni and smokers. Noni juice reduces the evidence of cancer changes in heavy smokers. The early signs of cancer, that's a good thing. Noni alone and with doxorubicin are effective against breast cancer cells in test tube studies. Okay, very important for uh, cancers. Noni and skin cancer, unique compounds in noni are effective in inhibiting the growth of melanoma cancer cells. Okay, test tube studies again. Also, noni is remarkably effective in reducing early signs of cancer in animals given carcinogens. You know, there's all these chemicals in our environment, you know, persistent organic compounds, as they're generally called, that nature does not degrade. They're man-made for the most part, right? And these things are adding up to one of the reasons why we have more cancer than ever. The world's a polluted place. And what that study found was if you take your daily noni, you're going to have less cellular evidence of that damage going on in your body. And there are other natural compounds that do that. But noni is particularly good at doing that. That's amazing to me. Intestinal parasites is an effective anti-helminth. And a lot of this is for the veterinarian science. But humans get parasites too. <laughs> it's very common. In fact, worldwide, over 50 per 40% of the world's population has an intestinal parasite. Those figures are lower in the United States. But if you consider yeast and dysbiosis a parasite, which I kind of do, and a lot of doctors do, there you go. Right here in America, it's effective. Noni and chronic viral infections. It inhibits the replication of HIV and hepatitis C, both. That's a huge benefit. Plus, it's liver protective for the uh, hepatitis C patients. Boy, that's a good tonic for that. Here's one that's really interesting. Noni reduces post-op nausea and vomiting. How many of you, when you go into surgery, thank God, literally thank God for anesthesia, but you wake up so sick, so nauseous and vomiting, and that's not a good thing after an operation. You can pop a stitch. It's no fun. It hurts. So they gave humans, this is a human study, they gave humans noni juice for the week before the operation, and they found those that had the noni had half the nausea and vomiting as the placebo group. Isn't that amazing? And they think it's from the scopolitin, the scope of the promotility, keeping the... Uh, uh, intestinal motility pushing down as opposed to coming up with vomiting, right? See, that's impressive. I remember in my cancer treatment, they gave me a nausea pill mm -hmm. that was 40 bucks a pill. Mm -hmm. The newest best. $40 a pill. No, you can get a whole quart of noni. You can get two quarts of noni for 
less than that. Isn't that amazing? Noni and stress. Noni protects the brain from stress-induced impairment and cognitive function in laboratory animals. The brain goes numb under stress, folks. It does. We've, we've all learned that in our life experience. A little noni juice, well, of course, animal study, of course, noni juice helps to protect from that. Pretty remarkable. Noni and GERD, this is one of the most popular uses of noni in helping with heartburn. It's the pro-motility agent. But this study went further. They extracted the scopolitin out of the noni, okay? And they found that the whole noni works better than the scopolitin alone for heartburn. So it's not just the scopolitin. There's something else in noni that they're working to find that really helps the motility of the gut, helps with constipation, heartburn, and uh, reflux, this type of thing. Just impressive. And they're also finding novel compounds, that's what scientists call it, molecules that are found in no other plant ever, ever, ever found. And they're finding, they've, I think we're up to well over a dozen, maybe 20 by now, novel, unique compounds in noni, unprecedented compounds that we had no idea even existed. But see, the safety is there for noni. It's been used for 2,000 years that we know of. That's an excellent safety profile. Noni and immunity. Noni stimulates both the um, cellular and humoral immune system. That's the acquired immune system and the immune system you're born with. That's the two arms of the immune system. It makes both more active and effective. Remarkable, isn't it? Stroke, we talked about that. Noni and triglycerides, we talked about that. Total cholesterol drops. Fertility, here's a unique one which we can't explain, but I'm sure they'll find out eventually. In laboratory animals, noni increased fertility over three generations with no evidence of tumor formation. And the, the, the litters of the mice got bigger and each mouse, baby pup mouse, was bigger with noni. And they followed him for three generations. Pretty amazing. We don't know how that happens, but it does. It's a fertility agent. Isn't that amazing? Let's go to our break. We'll return in a moment.